How we doing? Good morning. Um, as you're all well aware, I've been uh, talking about it for long enough. I'm on my way to the States for the first time, going to go to Pennsylvania to coach for Food Group. Um, I decided I'm going to give myself a bit of a video diary. So today's the day I'm leaving the house. I'm going to jump in a taxi, get onto the train and make my way up to Paddington before I set flight tomorrow. So I'll try and give you a bit of an insight of what I'm doing, um, who I'm working with, and hopefully a, a lasting memory for myself. So stage one, on my way to the train station. So, made it to Heathrow, so got a, got a one stay tonight, and then head off tomorrow morning on my first flight to America. Looking forward to it, been seeing a lot of posts online, um, hearing about a lot of coaches that are going to be there. So a chance to get some food, get some rest, and big day starts tomorrow. So I'm now in Heathrow Airport, just waiting for my gate to be called. And fly in, in about an hour, and then an eight-hour trip until I touch base in Philadelphia. And hopefully, I have a car waiting for me, and then off to Pennsylvania I go. Not looking forward to any jet lag when I get there. Um, I've already had my breakfast, but when I arrive there, it's, it's going to be breakfast time again. So. I'll, uh, I'll have to get used to that, but uh, no, can't wait, looking forward to it, getting very nervous, same time getting very excited, but next time I will speak will be Touchdown in Philadelphia. Morning all, <coughs> feeling a bit, a bit tired to say the least, it's about half six in the morning here, I think about half eleven in the UK, but I'm arrived at Albright College in uh, Reading, Pennsylvania. I've got my dorm, which uh, has got all I need. I've got a fridge and a bed, so that, that's, that's really good. <laughs> um, met some of the coaching team last night, really, really good bunch of guys. Um, welcomed me with a barbecue and a few, uh, a few Budweiser's, and um, going to get everything set up today, going to check out the courts, um, put the tape down. And, and really just sort of prep for, for camp, which is starting in two days. Um, need to explore the area a little bit, but I got here last night. There's some, uh, some fireworks and some pre-July the 4th celebrations going on, which is pretty cool. But uh, no, looking forward to it now. I'm going to go check in with the guys and, and see what they want me to do today. So um, I'm sat at the court itself, um, just having a look around, and we've got a wall of, uh, of jerseys of, of ex, um, ex camp attendees, um, and just going through for a few of them. You know, you've, you've got the likes of Magic Johnson I can see in front of me. Um, you've got Vince Carter. You've got recent NBA champion Kyrie Irving. Um, our own British player, Luol Deng, has been here, uh, and, and the list just goes on. But you know, it's good to be here. A couple of guys have just arrived to shoot around, so we'll, uh, we'll practice it now and uh, catch up later.
morning. It's July the 4th, Independence Day. Um, just got up, had my breakfast, got my coconut water. Um, we've got now, this is the last day of preparation to the camp starts. Um, we'll go have a look later, hopefully, uh, but the guys in the office have been doing a lot of work. Um, all the kids are going to arrive tonight, the rest of the coaches are going to arrive tonight. Um, all good for everything to start tomorrow morning. Um, last night I had a bit of a, a running around with some of the, the hoop group staff on the, on the court until midnight, who are a lot younger and fitter than me. Um, it was a good session though, um, I had a bit of fun, absolutely shattered by the end of it. Um, but no, it was nice to, to sort of play basketball with these guys and experience the sort of competitive level they have, even for just a, a pickup game. So, no, it was good. Um, I'm going to go down now, finish my breakfast, and um, see what's going on for today and see uh, what the area has to offer um, for July the 4th and, and maybe try and get some videos of. Um, Sort of bits and bobs around the area, so you guys can see where um, where Redden actually is and uh, and what goes on here. But for now, go up and out, go of water. I see you later on. Been a bit of a tourist day today. Um, met some crazy taxi driver called Todd. <laughs> uh, I think every taxi driver over here has got some sort of nut story. Um, this one used to um, be in a band with Ozzy Osbourne, apparently. I, I don't know how far that story goes, but there you go. <laughs> uh, done a bit of shopping and um, just getting a, an early night now. Because all, all the players and all the all the new coaches have arrived, uh, ready for camp to start tomorrow. Uh, so it should be good. Now for you know the reasons why I came here, it, it all kicks off tomorrow. Um, roommates arrived, and he's uh, an assistant coach over in New York. So that's good. Uh, I'm gonna have a good chat with him and and learn about what he does and and, and kind of just uh, compare basketball notes, I suppose, and um, see see where that takes me. No, can't wait now. Everything's starting tomorrow. So, gonna get an early night. No more being a tourist. Time to get the work done. Seven of the kids arrived today. Uh, I've, I've been really, really, really waiting for this uh, for a couple of days of, of being a tourist. I just wanted to get down and, and start coaching some basketball. So we had 700 kids. I uh, had to enroll them all in, uh, put them into stations, um, done a little bit of assessment work. So we, we, we put them all into sort of groups, uh, five on five, played a lot of games. Uh, just a chance to really sort of see what these guys are made of before we... We put them in their final teams um, for the rest of the camp. So the plan is tonight is is the coaches are all going to meet up, uh, an NBA style draft, where we we select our teams, um, which that group of, of players then we have responsibility for for the rest of the camp. Um, so I'm you know I'm quite looking forward to sort of having my own team and and doing a bit of work with them as well. We've. Um, Got a lot of station work to do, a bit of classroom work to do, uh, lots of things sort of on the horizon. So yeah, you know, can't wait to get involved. Again, the hoop group staff have been brilliant. Um, I've met all the coaches, um, some really good guys here from, from all sorts of places uh, in America, different high schools, different colleges. Um, and tomorrow, the the Div One colleges, sorry, the Div One college coaches will be arriving um, to start assessing the kids that we've been working with. So our job is really to to get them ready so they can showcase what they've got um, and really sort of have their shot at, at where they want to be in, in, in the future, um, whether that's Div 1, Div 2 or, or, or Div 3 in America, but 
you know, all the kids are here and they, they all want one thing, which is great. So no, so far so good. you got one more meeting left to go and then uh, completely done for the day. Gonna get some well earned sleep. through day two. Um, this morning the college division two coaches arrived on site and about an hour or so ago the division one coaches have arrived on site and, and now they're here really to assess all the talent on the show, see what's going on and see if there's any players they want to be picking up to re recruit for the, the up and coming season. Uh, my team unfortunately we've, we've played two and we've lost two um, which is a bit of a shame. It was by the slimmest of margins, but we've got another opportunity tonight. We're, we're going to be playing on the outside court tonight, so hopefully we can get our first win, um, keep the kids happy. But no, the guys are doing well, and the team I've got, I'm, I'm really happy with. We've got some really talented players. Um, it's just one of those things, every team's got some really talented players. But no, looking forward to tonight, one game left, um, and then we're going to relax in the coaches' lounge and we'll get ready for the next day ahead. Day two's out of the way now. Um, very tired, man. Started at um, 7.45, um, just just finishing off now. But no, really good day. We had my, had my third game this evening on the outdoor course we managed to get our first win, which is great. So we've got one win, two losses, and we've got a couple more games to go, so fingers crossed we can, we can build on that. But the kids worked really hard. Um, we, we were down by 16 points, and then we, we brought it back and ended up winning by six, so that was, that was great. Um, but no, another really good day. They had a coaching clinic going on in the main hall, so I managed to, to, to catch most of that. Um, we've got some new stuff there. They had a couple of film sessions going on, uh, but today today was the exposure day. Today was, was really about getting these Div 1 and these Div 2 coaches here to, to take a look at the talent on the show. So at times it became quite difficult um, in, in coaching wise because the style of battle is you know more different than I thought it was going to be you know I knew they were quick but but these guys are these these guys are really quick they're really fast um, the problem is being an exposure camp they all want a piece of the action so you kind of got to rein in them a little bit and and get them moving the basketball a bit more get them um, get them working as a team and, and, and not sort of borderline trying too hard uh, but no it was it was great. The the kids have, have amazing work ethic here. The you know the discipline is unreal, um, and they, they they really you know they're, they're doing what it takes to chase their dreams, and it's you know it's, it's really good. And it's, it's definitely something that we can we can learn a big lesson from uh, back in back in the UK, and it's something I want to kind of implement to to my players moving forward after this experience. But no, really good day. But I kind of get to sleep because I am absolutely tired as you can probably tell by my talking and, and the way I look I'm a little bit drained so I will catch up tomorrow and hopefully we've got another good day and hopefully get a cue a cue see I'm, that's how tired I am I just can't even say my words right now so on that note I'm out so good morning uh, last morning of camp we had um, we had a few lot more games last night and uh, my, my, my team managed to get a couple more wins, which was great. Um, so we're now three wins, three losses. 
um, in, the, in the tournament. So we've got, a, we've got a good seed in the playoffs, which is later today. Uh, so we're quite looking forward to that. We've got the playoffs this morning, and then we've got camp awards, followed by the all-star games, which will be, which will be really good fun. Um, but anyway, coming to the end of the first camp, uh, team camp will be this weekend, which is something completely different, um, which I'll sort of go through near the time. But for now, I've got to go get some breakfast, get my team ready for the uh, the playoffs, and then watch or take part in the All-Star game, depending on uh, what account directors choose. So, until then, i got to go do some work. So here we have it. Um, I'm up at one of the um, the well, no, sorry, the college halls. Um, camp is officially over. Uh, so we had the last day today. So I just kind of want to recap really about everything that's been going on and, and, and what experience this is. Um, so so this was um, this was elite team camp one. And yeah, but there's another one next week, which I'm really looking forward to as well. Um, but in regards to this one, obviously coming across from the UK, can't help but be a little bit nervous, um, especially my first time over in the States. Uh, and I'm not really knowing what to expect. I knew the level was going to be good. Um, I knew there were going to be some great coaches. So obviously I, I was excited. I was nervous. Um, from day one, being welcomed by the staff, they, they were fantastic. The, the, the Hoop Group staff, they, they have everything on lockdown. They know exactly what they're doing. Um, that they, they Nothing was ever too much trouble. So those guys have been great. Um, the facilities at Albright College are amazing. Um, I keep getting told this is, <laughs> this is still a small college, but to me, this, this is huge and the, and the facilities are great. The, the courts are really good. Um, the, the training facilities are fantastic. Um, and and the coaches that have been around this week are, are just amazing. You know, I've, I've met some some really, really, really good coaches, um, high school coaches, college coaches. You know, these guy, these guys over here. There is so many of them, but the the quality of the coaching is great. Um, they really know what they're talking about. And you know, the the highlight I guess was when I bumped into um, a coach called. Um, Called Ted Hotelane. Um he he is a the Division Two coach um, for the University of New Haven, and I and I was walking down the sideline. I was on my way to my game, and it wasn't really until someone <laughs> shouted out from behind, "Are you from Plymouth Raiders?" And I, <laughs> and I kind of thought, "No, someone someone didn't just say that." And I turned around um, and, I, and I met Ted. And he, he turns around and he tells me that he played for us in in ninety five and ninety six season in Plymouth. Um, so that was a shock. I, I couldn't believe it. I, and I think I remember I remember watching him, but I really you know I was quite young, so I, I didn't really I didn't really have a sort of picture of who he was. Um, but no, it was great to meet Ted. He's a really nice guy. Um, he, he sort of gave me an insight to to what he comes here for and what he looks for in players. Um, and we just had a good catch up. We had a good catch up about basketball in England, about high school and college basketball in America. Now it was it was fantastic. So that that was good there with the coaches. Um, work wise, we we done a bit of station work in the morning where all the kids go into groups. Um, they rotate with it daily. Um, I had a station and we were working on L cuts. It was it was a nice and simple thing to work on, um, but the way these guys get their points across. Is is completely different um, to how we would. That you know, the, the basis on intensity. Um, I think we're we're a lot more fundamental based on the, on the way we teach things like this. Uh, um, after seeing it and experiencing it and and seeing how good some of these guys were, I think there's room to sort of meet halfway on this. Um, and there was something a discussion I had with one of the coaches that they feel that over 
over in, in Europe and England that the fundamentals are are much stronger. Um, but here in the States, you know, they have real athletes and real strong guys, uh, and they have the facilities to do that. So, you know, the, the perfect scenario is, would be meet halfway, you know. Um, and I think it's given me a lot to, to think about, a lot to to um, work on regards to my coaching and how I how I come across as a coach. Um, and I've had lots of advice and lots of tips from, from various guys over here. So that, that was really good. Um, I got given a team which we goes into sort of a camp tournament. We ended up with, with three wins and three losses, so it wasn't too bad. Um, I was getting a bit of a, a dig in the side from the guys, you know, after I lost my first two games. I went down zero and two, they sort of, they, they, they said to me, you know, the English guy's not going to win anything. Um, they wound me up about it a little bit, and then we brought it back, and, we, I, you know, we ended up with three and three, which was great. Um, tactically, I, I probably got it wrong at the beginning with, with the kids that I had, uh, because the style of play, like I said, is, is so different. Um, but after I adjusted and after I sort of spoke to guys here, we 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 soon we soon pulled it together and, and we and we brought it back, which was great. Um, I think the highlight for me um, on well, not on top of that, as well as um, learning from 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 great people around me was was being asked to, to coach in the All-Star game. Um, so that was fantastic. I got an opportunity to 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 coach the the best young players that we had here um, in one game. And, well, I did the job. We, we won. Um, it, it definitely helped that I had one kid who hit sort of five or six three-point shots in the first quarter. That, that gave us a little bit of an advantage. So, no, it was great to coach the... Sorry, it was great to coach in the All Star game. That that was really good. Um, really, really pleased I got an opportunity to do that. Um, but no, overall, amazing experience. So that's that's week one out of the way. Tomorrow is team camp. Uh, not something I'm going to be involved in, but I'm going to be here to watch. Um, and I'm going to sort of try and speak to a few people and, and and learn what I can. Team camp is where basically they have a selection of high schools that that come in here to to use the facilities. And they put them into a two-day tournament, so that's going to be going on. Um, so I'm going to get an opportunity to see see a full sort of high school team in action, um, and then I can really make comparisons to to the way to the way they're coached and to to how the players sort of um, conduct themselves on the court. So that'll be great. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so once team camp's finished, and then we go on to camp number two, which is elite two, which I've been told is going to be a higher level again um, to what we had on elite one. Um, they said there's going to be see, a, a vast amount of strong players. Um, they believe there'll be a, a few more European players coming into this one as well, um, which will make it make it sort of interesting. Normally, you get a, a group of guys from Spain, which would be good. So I look forward to seeing them. But no, so far so good. I really enjoy myself. Um, this is sort of the end of my week one diary. I'll, I'll probably I'll probably keep everything updated about what I do and if anything great happens. Um, but for now, it's time to go and lie down for a little bit, meet up with a couple of coaches who are still staying at the at the dorms with me, and we're going to go for a couple of drinks and just relax ourselves tonight. But no, what a great week. Thank you to Hoop Group for giving me this sort of opportunity to be here. Um, give me some rest, and I look forward to going again. Halfway through day one of team camp, um, I'm not working, so I've had the opportunity to just go over to the sports hall, uh, put my feet up, and just just watch some good basketball. Um, so I'm watching various high school teams from across the states. Um, all the college coaches are still here. There not as many as there is in the in the elite camps, but there these guys are still here looking for the sort of next big thing. Seeing as there's people that that are worthy of, um, of scholarships. Um, also seen it as people that they can bring us what they call walk-ons, so they, they just join up to the college as normal. Um, 
you know, a real good level of basketball, some great games, um, some, some real quick kids, some real big kids. Um, and it, it's nice to see now more of the fundamental side of it come out. Now these guys are a little bit more structured um, because they're trying to run their sets for the season. You, you, you get to see the, the intensity that they, they had in the elite camp, but you actually get it to see it put into to a team environment, um, which is quite good. So it's, it's, it's nice to watch. Um, been chatting to various uh, parents, um, getting their thoughts on what the, the high school and college process is like as a parent. Um, when you've sort of got your kids on display, really, uh, with plenty of people watching them, all, all looking for pieces of the puzzle. Um, they, they love the idea of how our setup works um, by having a club environment, and you have kids from you know under 12s who who were up, walk, sorry, who work their way up all the way to under 18s and have the the opportunity if they're good enough to to play them for the pro team. They love that system. They think that's something that. They should implement, but that's just from a parent's point of view. Um, they they don't quite like the idea of of a big cattle market is is one of the the quotes that they they, they gave to me. Um, but you know, I think kids in England they would like it the other way around. They would love the opportunity to come over here to the states and prove themselves. And at the same time, as kids in America, they're talking about coming over to Europe because they know that only a small percentage. Of, of players in America will actually make that next step to the sort of the NBA. Um, so they're looking at trying to get pro contracts in, in different places in Europe. But no, it was, it's been a really good half day so far. Um, just gonna go grab some lunch and then I'm gonna go back and watch more basketball. is officially done. I've had a, another good day at basketball watching um, all the high school teams go at it in their sort of uh, build up to, to the high school season. Um, you know, some, some great players on show, um, some, some really good coaches in action. 
got a chance to chat to a few coaches, uh, chat to a few parents, um, watched about four games today, so yeah, re really good day. Uh, the best best thing today was, it was definitely when I, I, I sat down to watch uh, Reading High School play, and I met uh, a lady called Joyce, who was, she was sat next to me, and she was just asking some questions, and sort of recognised that I, I wasn't from around here, <laughs> and... Um, and when I told her this was my first time in America, she was absolutely delighted that the first time in the States was in her hometown. So she was affiliated with um, Redden High School. She has no family ties whatsoever, but nonetheless, she's, uh, she's an amazing person. She's been volunteering for 38 years, never missed a home game. Actually, no, I say that. She missed one home game, she's told me, which unfortunately was the, uh, the state finals. Um, but she, she volunteers the services to to cook for the guys, um, to, to wash kids, um, does, does any of the jobs that need doing, um, really, and, and with no ties, just, just the fact she loves basketball, uh, she's always loved basketball, and, and she loves her hometown, so it, it was great to meet her, and she has some really good stories, and she was talking about some previous players who, who've made it to, uh, to pro level, and things like that, and she had a knowledge of basketball that really not many people um, have, and, and, and that's not a disrespect of anyone I met because there's some amazing people that I've met with a, with a, a wealth of knowledge, but she, she just had this sort of information and, and, and this knowledge of a game I just did not expect from a, from a little old lady who was just sat on the side watching the game, but no, she was, she was great, um, it was really nice to meet her. But no, a, another good day, I've got a day off tomorrow, so gonna just chill out, have a look around the town again, um, save my energy because uh, Elite Camp Two will start on Tuesday. So as soon as that kicks in, it'll be all go again, and uh, we've got a good level of players coming in apparently. So I'm looking forward to that and looking forward to get going. So right now, uh, it's the start of Elite Two. So we're on Camp Number Two at the moment. The sports hall is full, as you can probably hear in the background. All the kids are coming in, signing up. I've noticed on the list today we've got, as well as um, some, some top high school guys, we've got um, some players from Spain have come over, we've got some players from Uruguay, I've seen one from the UK, so I look forward to, to meeting him. But no, everything's go right now, so um, as you can see behind me, all the guys are really signing up. It's all go, so Elite 2 is ready to start. So, just coming to the end of um, camp day um, one, second camp, uh, day one. So all the kids arrive, standard procedure, get them all in, get them all signed up, uh, um, get the stations going, um, everyone's meeting everyone, first normal uh, crazy day. Best thing about today um, is I got the opportunity to meet um, Seth Greenberg, who is a, a former coach of of various high schools in America and colleges in America. Um, he, he's an absolute legend. Um, he's also uh, an analyst on ESPN. So I got the opportunity to listen to a talk from him, um, saying some great things, talking about uh, what it takes to, to make a player, what it takes to, to sort of breed um, a, winning at, sorry, a winning attitude. Um, he, was, he was a really great guy. I got the opportunity to meet him afterwards and had a brief chat, um, which was fantastic. You know, that was, that was quite a big deal for me. So, no, very happy of how today went. Um, you know, can't, can't complain a bit at all. I'm, I'm just quite sort of starstruck when I met him. He was a, he was a nice guy, he was real humble, um, with lots of great information. Um, 
very honest about his opinions on, on, on basketball in America and the, and the growth of basketball as well, which, which was good to hear. Um, he, he's a firm believer at the moment that there's too many games being played in America, there's not enough work on fundamentals, um, there's not enough individual development. Um, and they're, they're currently relying on athleticism and strength. So it was, it was quite an interesting theory, um, something that, to be fair, most coaches are, are completely agreeing with. But no, really good day. Um, tomorrow I get to find out who my team is, see if uh, what division I'm in, and then um, we'll go. So I can get some sleep. I'm absolutely shattered. It's been a long day, and I look forward to tomorrow. day two this is probably like the sixth or seventh time I've tried to do this um, I could get interrupted unfortunately uh, lots to do kids running around being crazy and I can't hold the camera still so that doesn't help either there you go but no been another good day um, a really difficult day today to be fair my team unfortunately have gone down and we've we've lost three games um, haven't got a win today which is a shame uh, but the kid, the kids, I can't fault them. They're working really hard. Um, they're, you know, they're pretty one well undersized, let's say today. So there's been some learning curves for myself. Um, there's been some learning curves for the kids and, and how to deal with different situations like this. Um, we've come close a couple of times, but unfortunately, we haven't quite got that killer instinct to close out the game. But no, it's been a good day. Uh, fingers crossed, I can. I can get myself a win tomorrow and, and sorry, and boost the morale of the, of the guys up. Um, one thing I wanted to do today is is sort of find out from from the college coaches a little bit more information about what they're looking for. Um, just something I can give to my team whilst I'm here to sort of say, hey, look, you know, oh, try and forget about the scoreline and and focus on just sort of doing your job. Um, and I spoke to a chap called. Um, I got his card there. Uh, he's called um, uh, Norm Everson. So he's a head of a, a recruitment company. And what they do is they they spend a lot of time looking at, at Div 1 players, potential Div 1 players, um, and passing that information back to sort of head coaches and scouts and things like that. Um, so he, you know, he was telling me in, in simple terms that not one single person here looks at the scoreboard. And I think that's something that's getting my kids down. They're looking at the scoreboard, they're seeing that they're down, um, and they think kind of, you know what, that's it. That's Why is anyone going to look at me if we're losing every game? And, and it's really not about that. They're, they're looking for so many different things. They're looking for kids who are working hard. They're looking for kids who are playing with passion no matter what's going on. Um, of course, they're looking for athleticism. They're looking for good fundamentals. And, you know, they're looking for all-round guys that, that are going to make a difference. They're looking for kids who make themselves better by playing. They're making for kids who, who make the team better. Uh, and what my guys need to understand is if we can kind of eliminate the scoreboard situation and forget about that, just play hard, concentrate on, um, on simple parts of the game, move the ball, don't be selfish, play with the right attitude, then people will draw attention to them. Um, and... You know, it's not just Div 1 here, there's, there's Div 2, there's Div 3, and they're, they're all looking for someone. They're all looking for kids to put into their systems, put into their programs. Um, yeah, they all want a superstar, but they also need the 12th man, they need the 11th man, they need the 10th man, they need guys who are going to gonna sort of breathe life into into the programs that they have here. But no, it's been a good day. Um, you know, there's, there's so much every day I'm learning about recruitment, and, and probably way too much for me to to talk about whilst I'm here but there's a lot of information um, and one of the main things is that the guys over here are looking for, for players from abroad they're looking for English kids uh, they're looking for for Spanish kids we've, we've got kids from Uruguay here we've got kids from Australia here we've got kids from China here and, and they want overseas players um, and they say the big difference is and I've said it before here is like they like the fundamentals that kids from outside of America bring um, they, they've got athletes they've got big guys they've got tough guys you know 
So they need something which is going to be different for them. Uh, and what we do differently in Europe, you know, not necessarily everywhere, of course, but what, what majority of places do differently is fundamentals. And the coaches firmly believe that. You know, I've, I've collected so many business cards because people just want kids from abroad in their program. They want international players. And, and the thing is, we don't get opportunities like this. You know, not many. There's, there's maybe a handful. Um, so we've really got to kind of educate our players in what they've got to do to be noticed and where they can go to be noticed. Um, I'm really hoping that this is going to help anything that, that I do in my program in the future. If I've got kids who, who have got high potential, I've, I've now got a few contacts. I've, I've now got people that I can send them to. You know, I would love to take a couple of kids to this camp next year, and hopefully I will. Um, you know, I've been invited back, and I, I keep getting asked to bring people with me, so fingers crossed we can do that. But, you know, I'm, I'm learning a lot every day. Um, every day is something different that happens, but it's been a real tough day with regards to games. Um, but fingers crossed I can get my guys together, I can get them on the same page, and, and hopefully tomorrow we'll get a couple of wins. But it's been another great day. Um, again, really happy to be here. The Hoop Group staff are amazing. I gotta shoot over to the uh, coach's lounge. I get myself a Bud Light and a pizza, and then I need to get some sleep. But once again, I can't complain. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. So we've reached the end of the the last full day of camp. Um, really, really, really tough day today. Um, my team that was with, unfortunately, we didn't get a single win. Um, for for various issues which, which you know add to that, um, but that's something really to be just discussed with uh, coaches and players. To be fair, uh, but you know there, there was some real hard working kids. Um, we've got one game left tomorrow. Hopefully, we can finish on a high and and, and try and get a, a win in the morning um, before everything sort of closes off the camp. Uh, really hot today, so. It was difficult, lots of coaching outside, lots of drills going on. Um, I'm beat, <laughs> I'm absolutely beat as you can tell. Um, yeah, today I kind of had highs and lows really, you know, everything's been brilliant so far, the, the camp's been brilliant, you know, but like I've said, there's, there's situations here where where kids are potentially trying too hard to to get on the highlight reel rather than to play basketball that actually college coaches are looking for and I, I refed a couple of games today where, where that was the case and you know when that happens it's, it's not enjoyable basketball to watch it's you know you, you end up kind of just going a one on one game and, and playing street ball and, and the kids don't really understand that they're being watched all the time and they don't really understand that one bad game because they're not sharing the basketball and they're not a team player it's, it's it could affect their futures massively. You know, it could knock off a couple of college offers as easy as that. Um, so it was difficult watching that. Um, you, you try and encourage the kids to to do the right things and to to get that point across, but sometimes it it, it doesn't work that way. But yeah, it's been a really tough day. Where when you can't get a, a win with your team, it's it's always a struggle. Every coach knows that. But we get through it. You know, um, hopefully the kids are going to be stronger because of. Of, of what we've had to go through today, we've, we've had guys missing, um, things just haven't gone our way. Um, but we, you know, we've worked hard, so hats off to them. They, they've done their best, and, and that's kind of all you can ask of them. So what's left really now is is tomorrow. We've got say everyone's got one more game tomorrow. Um, so the two bottom teams will will play each other, um, which unfortunately is my team this week. Um, it was a little bit different from, from last week when I was getting a couple of wins and getting the opportunity to coach the All-Star team. I don't think that will be the same um, as I have on that to, uh, to pick up one win. So, but no, it's been good. We've we done, we done um, stations every morning. So we haven't got that tomorrow because it's just a half day. We've got our games, we've got the All-Star stuff, and that's it. Then camp is going to be over. But yeah, really tough day today. Really hard work. So I'm going to get plenty of rest now re-energize myself for tomorrow, try and re-energize my team tomorrow, 
try and get the win, um, but more importantly, try and, and play basketball the right way. Um, but that, other than that, it's been it's been great. Um, had some more conversations with coaches, um, and I can't stress enough how how strongly they believe that they they want kids from abroad, from overseas, to come over to their colleges. You know, um, and there's lots of sort of funding in place for for that to happen. So it's gathering more information day in day out of, of what's expected of a player coming over to America and, and what these guys are looking for. And I think for myself, with with my players back in Plymouth, we, we're going to really reinvestigate sort of this side of it a bit more and, and, and try and have an outlet for the advanced players in our club to, to give them the opportunity if, if they don't sort of um, move on to, to the pro team that you know they, they, they've got this outlet um, or even if they, they take this outlet and then they come back for the pro team I don't know it's, it's completely up to, to what suits the kids but I want to give them the outlet the chance to go to, to America the chance to go to exposure camps and and see what this is all about. Um, it's it's a long, long, long couple of weeks. Well worth it. Really enjoyable. Lots of lessons learned. Um, like I said, time to re-energize. Um, and I'll have my final sort of piece on the camp. Um, maybe the next couple of days, and sort of just analyze the the whole thing in general. But today, great experience. Today.
Um, so, so <laughs> can't even talk. I'm so tired. Um, so Hoop Group is now officially over. Um, had the last day of camp today, and uh, got selected to coach the All Star game again, which was nice. Um, really happy with that. Um, my team won the All Star game, so even better. Um, so yeah, another good day of basketball. Um, yeah, it's been an incredible experience. Uh, I've met some great people along the way, some, some great coaches, um, a lot of guys who looked after me, so I'm sure eventually he'll watch this, but Kevin, thank you very much. He, uh, he looked after me, he took me to all the nice places and laughed at me when I got overexcited about the little things like a, a fire hydrant and some ice cream. But, you know, it's all brand new for me, not ice cream. But you know what I mean. Um, it's an amazing experience. Um, all the hoop group staff, the hoop group staff, um, all the directors, um, all the coaches, all the runners, especially the runners. The runners were great. These guys like, did everything. You know, if there's need something doing, boom, they were there. Anyone needs something, he's got it. They they were fantastic. In fact, one of the runners, he he drove me to where I am now. I've just arrived in Philadelphia. So I'm now in Philadelphia after an amazing time. I'm definitely going to have to spend some time um, looking back on the experience. I've taken so many notes, um, spoken to so many people, and collected so many business cards, and learned so much about the, the basketball system over here through the sort of eyes of, of the coaches, of the parents, of the camp organizers. Um, and it was great to kind of see the kind of the same age group that I deal with, um, sort of the fifteen to eighteen year olds, you know, um, some even younger actually, some some fourteen year olds that have come through the the camp over the last couple of days, but just to kind of see the system that they go through and. And the, and the type of basketball that they're exposed to and, and what's expected of them at such a young age, you know, the, there's no question about it that everything's built towards going to college. Um, every parent, every kid, they want that college scholarship and any chance there is to, to put your skills and talents on show, which there are many opportunities to, they, they take it straight away. Um, and regardless of, of how good American basketball is and and how everyone around the world envies American basketball and everyone wants to be here to coach and to play basketball. Everyone that I spoke to loved the fact that we have a club system in England and, and they love that so much and they like the regional program. They, they like all the things that we do. Um, and I guess it shows that we're never really too happy around our own environment and we maybe get too comfortable um, with what we do but just seeing what these guys do is, is unbelievable some incredible athletes at camp um, today in my all star team I had a 14 year old and he was absolutely insane he, he, he would get into to our under 18s team he would get into most um, England basketball premier under 18s teams as a point guard he, he was unbelievable strength, talent um, Eye for the basket, great movement, everything about him. He, he he was a really good player. So that was he's if he carries on how he is, he's he's definitely going to be a superstar. He's already on on radars of people uh, at the age of fourteen. But yeah, just thank you to all the hoop group staff. Um, thank you to to everyone who's kind of given me the opportunity to be here, given me the opportunity to listen and to learn. Um, also give them the opportunity to kind of do what I do um, and and give me kind of a free reign to coach how I like to coach and um, it's been it's been really good uh, I can't fault the experience one bit um, I've officially been invited back as well for next year which is great um, I'll have to save up some money because um, the flights out here are a little bit uh on the expensive side, you know, so fingers crossed, um, I can save up some money and I can come out again and, 
and once again enjoy the experience knowing a little bit more about it I'm looking forward to showing my players the game tapes of some of the games here to show them sort of the talent that these guys are at, uh, at, at this age and how hard they work I'm looking forward to, to sharing all my information that I've, that I've picked up when I was, once I go through all my notes I could probably talk for hours to be honest with you but no one's going to watch it if I do so I've had a great time seen some great basketball met some amazing people um, learned a lot of new things and now I am going to get in the shower because I'm in my hotel I'm then going to go out and explore um, sort of Philadelphia kind of local to where I am and, and go find something to eat and find a drink go through this see if there's anything cool to do I know for instance tomorrow I'm going to go to my first baseball game, so I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to watch the uh, going to watch the, the Mets versus the Phillies, which will be great. Um, don't have a clue about baseball. I can just picture myself with a big beer, a hot dog, and a foam finger. So we'll see what happens. But I've been uh, I've been given a lot of information and, and told a lot of places to go and visit. So as far as basketball is concerned, that's me done.